Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Top 10 Trends in Wealth Management 2021, The Future is Now, presented by IT Group's Wealth Management Team, which is led by Research Director Alois Perker. I'm Lori Spenley, and I'll be one of your IT Group hosts for today's webinar. Joining Alois, we have an expert lineup of Wealth Management Senior Analysts, including Dennis Gallant, Meghna Murky, Sophie Schmidt, and Wally Ockby. Please welcome all of our presenters, and without further ado, I'll turn the mic over now to Alois. Thank you again for joining us, and enjoy today's webinar. Great. Thank, thank you very much, Lori, um, and thanks to everybody for joining the Top 10 Trends webinar today. Um, this is one of my favorite events every year, uh, as it is one of the few occasions that the entire team can collaborate and present their thoughts on the, on the, on the year ahead. Um, well, there's a taunting task every year to, uh, to present uh, and, and narrow down the, the industry um, happenings to 10 trends. Uh, this year has been a particularly hard uh, task to do because there's so much industry is changing. Here are the top 10 trends that we are uh, going to uh, gonna run through uh, shortly, but I, I'd like to uh, spend a few minutes to, um, to talk about um, in, in, uh, the, the current environment we are in and uh, what we have experienced in the past, which should set the stage for, uh, for the next uh, um, hour to come. Um, 2020 was year of the ordinary. There's no, no question about that. Um, going into 2020, the industry was busy with the adoption of the Zero Trading Commission for retail clients, which triggered a range of business model adjustments in M&A, such as Morgan Stanley's acquisition of E-Trade announced on February 20th. Right around the same time, uh, you know, the entire Western world um, uh, was uh, going into a lockdown situation uh, due to the abrupt spreading of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, with closed shops, closed restaurants, uh, remote working employees, stock markets entering a period of high volatility. Uh, very quickly, um, many businesses found themselves on the brink of bankruptcy uh, as operating became difficult in a new world that is defined by social distancing. Uh, luckily, the financial markets held up uh, and more than held up, uh, hit new highs, of course, supported by various government actions around the globe. Uh, and well-prepared wealth management firms were able to grow their client base and assets under management in 2020. So the year, while it was hard for everybody, uh, turned into, um, for, for the wealth management industry, for a good year. Um, at IT Group's executive forum held last October, uh, Andy Sieg, Merrill Lynch uh, wealth management president, stated that the wealth management industry has just made a five-year leap forward as far as digital client engagement is concerned. I believe Andy's statement is really summing up nicely what we see ahead for 2021. Uh, much of what the industry has been uh, talking about for years, again, like do uh, digital transformation or adoption of goal-based wealth management methods, uh, in order to demonstrate value to clients, uh, is urgently needed now, not only as a temporary workaround. The length of the pandemic is changing our industry for good. Time is, out, uh, is of the essence for wealth management firms to embrace the new normal and to invest in staff and infrastructure in order to keep up with client behavior and faster moving competitors. Firms that miss this cue risk losing market share and possibly becoming acquisition targets. Without